Asante Sano, Your Excellency, Stephen Kalonzo Msioka, who was the 10th Vice President of the Republic of Kenya. Na mgeni wetu wa Heshima siku ya leo, Bishop Dr. Joseph Maweu, na mke wako, Reverend Agnes Maweu, the presiding bishop, na the outgoing bishop, uh, John Bosco, wa South Coast, incoming bishop wa North Coast, na viongozi wote na wa Kristu wenzangu. Bwana asifiwe. Asanteni kutupa nafasi hii, tuje tushirekee pamoja nanyi. Nilikuja hapa kwa mwaliko wa kinara wetu, mwishmiwa Stephen Kalonzo Msioka. Na ninashukuru sana sababu sisi tumekuja hapa kushuhudia, a transition. Na nataka ni shukuru sana kanisa, Redeem Gospel Church, the transition ile tumeona hapa, Iko very smooth, very peaceful. I wish kwa siyasa ingekuwa hivi pia. Transition yetu ya siyasa haikui raisi vile iko hapa. Sababu ninyi munajua tumekuwa na shida kidogo. Every time we have a transition katika taifa letu, kuna kuwa na shida kidogo. Watu wanapoteza maisha na mali, lakini transition tumeona hapa ni jambo where as politicians we need to borrow a leaf and to learn from the church. So we are here to say Hongera Bishop. Na tukija hapa South Coast to celebrate the transition that we have seen here. We are happy to see a peaceful country and a peaceful transition. Lakini pia tunajua ya kwamba siku ya leo kwanzia leo hadi jumatatu Kuna wasiwasi kidogo. Upande huwa South Coast, upande wa North Coast, na the entire coast region ya Kenya, kutoka vanga hadi kiunga, sababu ya kibunga cha hidaya. Na sio Kenya tu kule Tanzania pia, tumeelezwa ile cyclone hidaya is approaching Dar es Salaam, na huenda ikawa na maafa kule, Gavana wetu wametoka hapa sababu kuna ile disaster committee ya county hii. Tumeona jana kule lamu. Gavana Issa Timami na county commissioner wakieleza wenzetu waliolamu kwa siku hizi tatu hadi jumatatu waweze kukaa mbali kidogo na beach and all activities sababu hatujui itakuwa vipi. Gavana wa Mombasa vile vile kwa kikao cha leo kile ameenda watatoa matangazo. Yetu kama viongozi ni kuomba wananchi wa Kenya please heed any warnings and any guidelines that will be given by the county governments here the coast and all the 33 county governments that have been affected by the floods. Heed also the warnings of the national government kwa ule utaratibu umewekwa wanasema heri kinga kuliko nini tiba prevention is better than cure so for those that can heed that warning to prevent any casualties so far we have lost over 200 lives tangu tuanze kuwa na this flooding crisis zaidi ya watu 1200 have been displaced and affected by this flood Zaidi ya county the Ladina Tat, out of 47 counties, have been affected by these floods. Kweli, bishops mlikuwa munaomba tupate mvua, mwenyezi mungu ya katu sikia, lakina mekua mkarimu zaidi ya kiasi. So, hile tumesema kama wanazimio, jana tumesema haya tukiwa Nairobi, na kinara wetu mwishmiwa Raila Odinga, leo tunasema hapa tukiwa wapwani, na kinara wetu kalonzo msioka. Ya kwamba the time has come when the Kenya Kwanza government should de declare the flood crisis a national disaster. Umuhimu wa declare national disaster ni kwamba once it is declared, then all hands on deck must be applied to this crisis. Na vile vile, apart from the local initiatives and local stakeholders, 
our global partners will also come on board ili tuhakikishe tusipoteze maisha tena hapa pwani ya makokote katika taifa letu 200 lives are one too many to be lost these are preventable and we want to ask that tufanye kazi pamoja national government and the county government to prevent any further deaths nimeguzwa sana na mahubiri ya leo leo tumeambiwa let us be vessels of honor fit for purpose i was very very touched na tunaelezwa when we have vessels of honor whether it's in the church we have today been presented by two vessels of honor bishop joseph mawew and his dear wife reverend agnes mawew these are truly vessels of on and we believe the leadership that has taken over will bring honor to the house of god will bring honor to the people of god in this county and this region and in our country to nawaomba wa kristo because the church played a big role also in changing the leadership in this country leo tunasikia watu wanalia kila kona ya kenya watu wanalia I was just looking at the reading behind here ile mlikuwa ameweka about 2024 being the year of bountiful harvest you cannot have a bountiful harvest kwa shamba kama badala ya kuweka mbolea umeweka nini mawe when we have leaders who are not vessels of honor and they are leaders who are vessels of dishonor they bring dishonor to our country badala ya kupea wakulima mbolea wanawapa nini mawe and ndio sababu kama wanaazimio wiki hii through the parliament of the republic of kenya tumeleta mswada kusema wale wakora wote who are vessels of dishonor who stole from kenyan farmers and brought stones instead of fertilizer waende wasiende waende munaunga hiyo mkono huo ndio msimamo wetu and we want to say that we must continue fighting corruption in our country and we want to ensure we have leaders who are vessels of honor i say so because dr steven kalonzo msioka ambaye amesimama mbele yenu hapa is a leader who is known whose record in public service is known in the republic a clean leader a god fearing leader so there's no way our dear christians ambayo we can use vessels that have been dis dishonored vessels that have records of corruption stained records we give them positions of leadership and we expect any difference wakati umefika tunaomba wa christ as we go forward for this country to change for kenya to be removed from the list of the corrupt nations of the world and right now we have been gray listed as one of the most corrupt nations in the world we will need clean leaders like dr steven kalonzo msioka hapa we will need clean lead eugene wamalo hapa sababu lazima tuangalie rekodi ya kila kiongozi amekuwa kwa dosari gap cash fund gap so that we change this country by having clean vessels that will bring honor to our country and return us to where we should be stuck in the mengi nataka niombe senator wetu wa Kitui aje aseme machache na tujulishe wabunge wenzake walio hapa na vile vile turudishie kiongozi